Shout it loud, hallelujah. Shout it loud, hallelujah. All right, there where you are, raise your get your hands to the Lord. I'll play any song of praises in your mouth. I'm singing loud and clear to the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. The one who has enabled you to see this first manna water service in 2022. Sing a song for the glory of God. How great is his Grace is Lord, all I've ever seen. You know that the waters of the mighty sea are still there. Trust me. Amen. Lifted, I am lifted. I am lifted by the Lord. Out of sin and sorrow into the presence of the Lord. Are you lifted up? I am lifted. I am lifted. Hallelujah. Out of sin and sorrow into the presence of the Lord. Are you lifted up? I am lifted.
Nature, it may be the loudest there as I pray this particular prayer. Any power that punish your parents that has now decided to punish you with a sevenfold amen. I keep them there in the name of Jesus. That is making anyone here to resemble their parents. Like father, like son, problem, like mother, like daughter, problems. Right there where you are. I kill you now in the name of Jesus. Receive your deliverance. Receive it. 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 Lana, something is happening. Receive it. Receive your deliverance. Receive it. Release it. We release. We release it. In the name of Jesus. Yes. Your virtues. Stolen by the witch doctors who consulted. Your virtues. Stolen by the evil prophets who consulted. Your virtues. Stolen by the evil man you slept with. Your virtues. Stolen by envious witchcraft. Right there where you are. Repossess them in the name of Jesus. Sister over there, you that brother over there, I command your cage star to arise now and begin to shine 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 in the name of Jesus. Yes. Yeah. Your wedding garment, I swear, be a woman that it comes. Place of domestic witchcraft is sitting upon. Recover it now in the name of Jesus. Recover, 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 recover in the name of Jesus. Yes. 
brother, sister here. Oh, you are not pregnant. But I see the enemy has put some satanic pregnancy in your womb. You feel pregnant, but you are not pregnant. And he's making strange movements in your body. Run quickly to this altar. And let your voice roar like fire and like thunder. Please don't allow anybody's voice to be louder than yours in this prayer. So want to pray now. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Can everybody shout this louder than anyone around them? If you are still hearing any voice, it means you are not praying yet. Poison of the wicked elders. What are you waiting for? Damn! In the name of Jesus. Sisters, I want to appeal to you. Pray this prayer very well. Problems is from the dead. Manifesting in my life. Can I hear the sister shouting? I'm sure the sisters can do a lot better than that. Brothers, can I hear you shouting me down? Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Somebody brought a strange sickness here. It's a witchcraft sponsored infirmity. Right where you are. The seven demons attached to your body. They are rushing back to where they came from. Seven of them. One, two, three, four, five, six. The seventh one has left. Jesus. Father, continue to lay your hands upon us. And we pray by your mighty power. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. God bless you.
Let's open our Bibles. We are to see the menu to Psalm 34. See, we are now to declare the daily of was my team. Let's say, of the daily of Psalm 34. We are now to declare the daily of was my team. Let's say, of the daily of the Bible says, we pay the weep, many of the law are the afflictions of the righteous. But, but the Lord delivered him out of them all. Is that in your Bible? I'm all of prophet is loud and clear. I want you to read it with a shout. Shout it louder than that. This prayer message is titled Many Afflictions But Sure Deliverance. He was for I would tell you, Lori, or for Lord, wait, not you, Shubor, it to see to that you many afflictions of local, but you sure deliverance. Shubor, it to see it to see to that you says many are the afflictions of the righteous. Oh, for Lord, nay, not you, or Lord, do do what a strange scripture. It will be more put here at the name. Why the righteous? Why should the Bible say many are the afflictions of the righteous? Why didn't the Bible say many are the afflictions of the wicked? Why should the righteous have any affliction at all? Why should the righteous have any affliction at all, let alone saying that the affliction are now many? Beloved, what do you Joseph was in prison. He was in prison. Look at Genesis chapter 39. Genesis 39. What it says? In verse 23. Joseph was in prison. See what the Bible is saying. Genesis 39, 23. The keeper of the prison looked not to anything that was under his hand. Because the Lord was with him. And that which he did, the Lord made it to prosper. Joseph was in prison. Joseph yeah, the Bible is saying the Lord was with him. If that were so, why did not the Lord deliver him from going to jail in the first place? Why did not why did God not set thunder? Fire to destroy Mrs. Potiphar that told lions against him. Why? He did. Joseph found himself in that condition. God was with him. Yet things kept going from bad to worse. From bad to worse. Nothing in his daily experience showed any testimony that looked like God was even there. Paul was in a shipwreck in Acts 27. Acts of Apostles, chapter 27. But now he's listening to this message very well. Acts 27. Verse 23. Paul was in the shipwreck. They have, they have suffered. 
They could not eat. They could not drink. They have turned their locations into the sea. Then verse 23. For there stood by me this night the angel of God whose I am and whom I serve. So fear not Paul. Paul thou must be brought before Caesar. And look, God has given thee all them that sin with thee. Angel of God that was with him. If there had been such an angel of God by him. Why did he become a prisoner in the first place? Whoever was that angel when the storm was blown and they were shipwrecked? These are questions. So you can understand the prayer of tonight and what we are discussing tonight. The number of people harass their own life their night. Complaining, complaining bitterly. Why is this happening? Why is that happening? The Bible answers the question. Did say few are the afflictions of the righteous? Many. But as many as they are, the Lord will deliver him from them all. Beloved, what I'm saying is this. Righteous people also go through adversity. Thank God for that great work, but the Lord delivered him out of them all. Meaning that no matter the adversity, no matter how many they are, your deliverance as a righteous person is guaranteed. This is why I'm praying for somebody. Any long term problem, any problem that has remained stubborn for you. With a sevenfold amen. I command them to be disgraced in the name of Jesus. We need to make a shout to the Lord. We need to cry out like the psalmist. And that is the purpose of this first meeting of the year. Psalm 71 verse 12. We all need to cry out like we find in that Psalm 71 verse 12. So, oh God, be not far from me. Oh my God. Make haste for my help. Not to to shout, O God. Make haste. Make haste for my help. O God. Make haste for my help. O God. Make haste for my help. Can somebody shout that loud? Can you shout it three aggressive times? This Psalm 91 we used to read. All the verses there are very interesting. But verse 15 says, he shall call upon me and I will answer. I will be with him in trouble. I will be with him in trouble. 
I will deliver him. And honor him. Very interesting scripture. This passage tells us that we are never alone in any problem that we face. We are never alone in that situation that we are facing. No matter how deserted you may feel, God says, whenever you are in trouble, He Himself will be in that trouble. God cannot be free from the trouble until you are free from that trouble. This is the mystery of the afflictions of the righteous. God was not asleep. When Nebuchadnezzar was saying, everybody should bow down. God was not asleep. When he lighted his fiery furnace, God was not asleep. When he invited the three Ibu children and asked them to bow down, God was not asleep. When he asked them to throw, when, he, when Nebuchadnezzar said they should throw them into the fire. But God was with the three Hebrew children in their trouble. So, so when the righteous gets into trouble, God also gets into trouble with him. The trouble then gets into trouble when God gets into it. There is one popular thing I used to say in those days. When God appears at your battlefront, your battle is over. Then I say, chapter 43, verse 2. I say, I say, I say, I when thou passest through the waters, I will be with thee. And through the rivers, they shall not overflow thee. When thou walkest through the fire, the Bible says, Thou shalt not be born to you. Neither shall the flame kindle upon thee. When thou passest. It didn't say if thou passest. So again and again. God shows us. That the battle does not depend on our small size. On our small size, or the mighty great size of the enemy, but the greater and mightier size of our God. The cities contesting which contesting which may be defended and heavy and heavily fortified, they may be as high as heavens, but our God shall bring them down. The great size of the enemy does not determine the battle. The Bible says, if God be for us, who can be against us? Who can lay any child, child? Who can lay any child to God's spirit? Who? This size 10, size 12, size 30, size collapse, the error, the error, the Many are the afflictions of the righteous. The Lord delivered him from them all. That is one thing though. We find this in the book of James. We are getting ready to pray now. James, chapter 5, number 16. James 5, 16. 
James 5.16 Confess your faults one to another and pray one for another that ye may be healed. Now listen to this. The effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man Let much. Now give us an example of that perfect prayer. Elijah was a man subject to life passion as well. And he prayed endlessly as by not rain. And he strayed not from the earth by the space of three years and six months. And he prayed again. And heaven brought heaven gave rain. And then brought forth a fruit. So but the major word is this effectual fervent fervent prayer of the righteous have been that much the word fervent is seriously pregnant fervent means blazing Burning, charged, fire, flame, hot blooded, intense, red hot, super heated, vehement, zealous. Scorching, demonstrative. What is the Bible saying? So, the effectual blazing prayer. See, the effectual red hot prayer. That's what the Bible says. The eventual overheated. Adora put you knee no put the righteous. You look at the Lagbara and pay that much. Only Agbara, you know. The year has come. Or do not if they buy you must pray different kinds of prayers. Only your own year one, do not be a card. To pray Hannah kind of prayer. Aggressive prayer. But words are not coming out. Lips are moving. Can pray the prayer of Elijah. Who put his head between his knees? Can pray the prayer of Gethsemane. Where you sweat blood and sweat water. That the fervent prayer of the righteous. By that fervent prayers, we mean prayers to dislodge deeply entrenched enemy. We mean prayers to smoke the enemy out of the holes where they are hiding. We mean fire prayers to tackle stubborn problems. We mean prayers to reveal deep secrets. We mean prayers to circumvent enemies' attacks. We are talking about fervent prayer, effectual fervent prayers of the righteous. We are talking about prayers, program and fasting to the heavenlies. Pray the prayer and fasting it to the heavenlies. We are talking about prayers to dislodge strange enemies. We are talking about prayers that make heaven to suspend all activities until the answer to what we are saying. We are talking about prayers to unlock 
ancient mysteries. We're talking about prayers that bring the Lord of hosts to your, to your battlefront to fight for you. Fervent prayer of the righteous. We're talking about prayers that provokes angelic assistance. We are talking about prayers that provokes the anger of heaven against adversaries. We are talking about prayers that transfers yokes back to the neck of the yoke manufacturers. We are talking about prayers that provokes the arm of the Lord to arise. We are talking about prayers that punctures the plan of the enemy. We are talking about prayers that causes civil war in the camp of the enemy. We are talking about prayers that provokes the enemy to arise and destroy themselves. Pray for somebody here today. Any enemy that has talked to you like a glue, whether they like it or not, this very night they shall arise and destroy themselves. They shall destroy themselves. They shall destroy themselves. They shall destroy themselves. Jesus, a servant for the man. The fervent prayers of the righteous. We're talking about diagnostic prayers. That would design masquerading and hidden enemies. We are talking about prayers that actually scares the enemy. The Bible says the strangers shall fade away. At least their hearts will fade. They'll be scared. That's some prayers you pray. The enemies are terribly scared. I see somebody here today. You are going to pray that kind of prayer in the name of Jesus. The father prayer of the righteous. The of the prayers that sees the hole in the wall. So you can see into what they are doing in their coffers. We are talking about prayers. That chases the viper out of the fire. We are talking about prayers. That raises confusion into the camp of the enemy. We are talking about prayers. That reverses the decision of the enemy. We are talking about prayers. That sets a dummy. For the enemy. Dummy. That the thing is human being they attacking. The thing is you watch here, they're just attacking nonsense and rubbish. The Bible says those kind of prayers effectual as well as five boiling prayers of the righteous. Affiliate much. Many are the afflictions of the righteous. Do not deliver them out of them all. I don't know what you are going through. I don't know what the enemy is doing against you. But one thing is certain the effectual fervent prayer. See, the righteous. I've learned much. Not many. And the afflictions of the righteous. The Lord delivered them from them. This is it. First Saturday is to become a friend of God. Second thing to do is to repent from every nonsense. 
tough thing to do so ensure that you are righteous you are righteous that is when God says yes it is your yes God says no it is your no when the Bible says do not you don't just like the song the song for us here now don't be a gossiper don't be a rumor carrier don't spread the good message about anybody don't be a broadcaster if that is what the Bible says, then don't do it. Do not commit fornication. Do not take onto alcohol. You should drop it. Do not disrespect your parents. You must be And when they say, leave the holy life. You begin to live a life that is pleasing to God. You become a righteous person. Then the next thing, you must learn violence in prayer. Which is where the fervency comes. Christ, to your feet now. All eyes. All eyes closed. Yes. You think you're here tonight? You're not born again. You want to surrender your life to Jesus? You so very quickly now. I see what I'm going to say after. So Father, in the name of Jesus, I come before you now. Lord Jesus, come into my life. Take control of my life. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. So say that short prayer with me. As we wait ourselves, immediately we close. We are coming to the altar here. We we'll take our number from the screen. Thank you, Jesus. Rise to your feet now. And all eyes closed. There is actually a word of prophecy for this meeting. And as many as were engaged in this first manna water service will be a candidate of testimonies. So I congratulate you that you are here and that you are joining. You will shout this loud again. Remember the red hot prayer of the righteous. I have let much. Say, this favor. I am not your candidate. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Angels of war. Can you shout that now? Pursue those only what belongs to me. Can I hear the sister saying it? Yes. 
pursue those only what belongs to me. To the night. Somebody help the sister shouting this. Next prayer is three times. Make sure nobody's voice is louder than yours. Say it aggressively and fervently the way I'm saying my own. Battles older than me. I'm fighting my destiny. Sisters, can I hear you shouting? Eh? Sisters, I want you to lose your temper with this prayer. Brothers, let me hear you running like thunder. Damn! In the name of Jesus. You could see what is happening now. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Please quickly bring out your pastor open for this meeting. Please bring out your pastor open for this meeting. Please. So, if you can bring out your mana water. Father, in the name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus. Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus, we bring our mana water to you. Let your power, your glory, your mightiness enter into this water in the name of Jesus. Let the water become the water of healing, the water of deliverance, the water of power, the water of strength, the water of glory. In the name of Jesus, as you drink this water, as you engage this water, every infirmity shall flee. In the name of Jesus, every affliction shall flee. In the name of Jesus, every oppression shall flee. Every oppression shall flee in the name of Jesus. The anointing of God from strength to strength and from glory to glory will come upon you as you use this word. In the name of Jesus, let the anointing of ease, the fire of the Holy Ghost, the deliverance power. I thank that this water in the name of Jesus. I sanctify, consecrate this water, and I bless this water in the name of the Father, the name of the Son, the name of the Holy Ghost. 
Jesus mighty name we pray. The Lord bless you from Bible. Make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. Father, all the prayer requests are answered by my Father. Jesus mighty name we pray. And let us share the grace of fellowship. We will come in the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit. Be with us now and forever. Amen. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our life. We shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Seven good lads, destroy our enemy. Let's go. Yes, yes.